Hey, it's March already. Well, that was a long February. But the best thing was we all got to use that extra day to micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Making your own trim molding is a great way to save money and customize the look of any room. I'm starting out with three quarter inch or 18 millimeter thick lumber. I'm gonna work on the door frame first. I'm tilting the blade to a 10 degree angle. And I want it a little bit higher than the board. This feather board will help keep the board pressed against the fence. I'll slightly ease over the edges of those with a roundover bit on my router. And there's the completed door frame profile. That bathroom is so small, I have to cut out a notch here to fit around the vanity top. And I have to make notches on the other board to fit around the door hinge. I'm making the baseboards basically square with a narrow taper on the top to prevent dust from collecting on it. I'm adding a simple S-curve profile on one edge of the board using a Roman OG bit on my router table. I'll use this cove cutting bit for the corner moldings where the walls meet. I can use these leftover cutoff strips from the other pieces. Now I just need to cut off this section so it's all even. I'm gonna keep the crown molding up on the ceiling very square to keep with the square theme I've got running through the bathroom. So not a whole lot of embellishment on these. This slight roundover on one edge will echo the doors on the vanity cabinet. Cutting the miters on these wide boards will be a lot easier using my miter saw. I'm gonna tack these into place using my brad nailer. One thing you find out when you're working on a project like this is how unsquare rooms are. In this bathroom, the length of this wall is actually an inch shorter than its opposite wall. Whenever I install baseboards and other molding, I try to use as few nails or tacks as possible in case I ever need to remove them. It makes it pretty easy. If you're a tummy sleeper, you tend to be gregarious and kind. Sometimes you're the life of the party, but you also enjoy a quiet evening at home watching an old movie. You're quick to lend a hand to anyone who asks. You like to keep a clean, well-kept appearance, but sometimes your hair seems to have a mind of its own.
You chew gum loudly. You click ballpoint pens. You don't use turn signals. You remind teachers to assign homework. You take up two parking spaces. You are prone to shoplifting and may have done time in a correctional institution. Remember, no matter what kind of sleeper you are, you'll get a great night's sleep on a Casper mattress, the obsessively engineered mattress sold at a shockingly fair price. Its unique combination of memory foam and latex foam combine to give just the right amount of sink and bounce. Casper has a risk-free trial and return policy. Try sleeping on a Casper for 100 days with free delivery and painless returns. Don't forget, you can take $50 off any mattress purchased by visiting casper.com slash woodworking and entering the coupon code woodworking at checkout. It's amazing how adding simple trim to a room can transform it into something really special. I love the look of this room. This video is part of my small bathroom makeover project. Please check out all the other videos in this series. I only have a couple more projects to go and then this bathroom will be finished. Thank you all for watching and for supporting Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and I'll see you next week.